Yeah, okay, so um, what's going on here? We're gonna do a little bit of review of the, um, the recent Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And I might reference a little bit of the uh, afterlife. So one of the things I've noticed recently with this whole thing is that like there's a whole bunch of revisionist history going around, right? Where everybody's like, I didn't like Afterlife nearly as much as I said I did. What? So you're a liar. So we should stop believing you. That's what you're telling me. But yeah, so I really liked Afterlife. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. I thought it was a great movie and I really enjoyed it. I thought, wow, this is really... Nice way to send off um, Egon Spangler, Harold Ramis. And um, I have a special place in my heart because people have told me that I look like Harold Ramis. Now, that was before I grew this. When I'm clean shaven, some people think that I look like Harold Ramis. Whatever. Anyway, so flash forward to 2024 when we got the... Um, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, right? And then... Okay, so let me just get this out of the way really quick. I would say that if you're going to do it out of five stars, that it's like three and a half, okay? So, seven out of ten, something like that. Like, it's a fine, fine movie. It's actually, like, really cool for a lot of reasons. Like, there's people now that are like, oh my god, there's too much fan service. Too much fan service? What? No, dude. Like, fan service, too much, like, too much fan service. Uh, I mean, it's got to be a piece of trash thing for it to be too much fan service. And we all know that the original Ghostbusters is not a piece of trash thing. So, yeah. Now, the other thing that I really liked about Frozen Empire is that it's a new idea almost, okay? So, like, you know, Gozer, the Gozerian, um, Evo, Shandor, and all that nonsense is done. You know, moving on. Now, I will say that there are certain things that, like, they brought forward from the Evo Shandor. Like, the um, Stay Puff Marshmallow guys, like, what are they doing there, bro? Like, if Evo Shandor is not around, and the whole point, whole reason why the Stay Puff Marshmallows existed is because Ray thought... Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and then Evo Shandor and Gozer were like, okay, here he is. So the fact that they're still around, like, yeah, that kind of sucked and I didn't like it. Now, if we're going to talk about things that I didn't like, I will also say that, like, bringing Lucky from the afterlife into this one was stupid and also useless, pointless. You didn't need her. You could have, like, just left her back in Oklahoma, and it wouldn't have been any better or worse than it was, okay? Like, yeah, I didn't like Lucky in this one. I didn't care for it too much, honestly, in Afterlife. Frankly, I don't like that actress at all. She played Maddie Franklin and Madam Webb. I don't really feel like I need to say any more about that bitch. Um, but, yeah... So, yeah, okay, so, go away. Also, on a side note, like, that girl is from the city that I live closest to. And she identifies as a they-them. Oh, my God. They-them. Anyway, go away. So, the, um, yeah, you could have done without her. You could have done without, like, several characters in this movie, like, I get that, right? But at the end of the day, I had a great time watching it. I thought it was fantastic on several levels. Like, the other thing that I really want to address here more than anything, right, is that there are so many people nowadays who, like, watch movies and they're like, is it woke? Is it woke? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are there black people in it? Are there gay people in this? Oh, my God. That probably means it's woke. No, dummy. It's just a fucking movie. Get over it, okay? Like, you can have fucking gay shit and shit. You can have black people. It doesn't make it fucking woke. Grow up. Stop using that as a fucking excuse. 
I'm so done with the woke nonsense. I hate it on all levels. I hate it on the woke level and I hate it on the non-woke level. Woke, 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 Anyway, yeah, so like there's definitely some things about this particular movie that are like, eh, eh, eh. But I still liked it. Now, I'm also going to say this, right? One of the things that really got me when I started to look into other people's reviews of this is they were like, Phoebe and that girl, they were going to get it on. Turns out that I'm less creepy than I thought I was because, like, at no point did I think that Phoebe and that ghost were going to get it on. I just thought that, like, you know, Phoebe is, like, a character that is has trouble, like, identifying with people, like, on her own plane, like, you know, like, found somebody on another plane that she was like, hey, I identify with you, let's hang out. That's what I thought. But then there's so much people that are like, it's gay, and gay's dumb. Guess what? You're dumb. So, yeah, like, I did not think that, like, you know, that whole thing was, like, LGBTQ plus whatever. But, again, I do think that there was, like, you know, you didn't have to put Slimer in it. Like, you didn't even, frankly, you didn't even need Paul Rudd in this movie. You definitely didn't need freaking Celeste O'Connor and Lucky in this movie. Uh, podcasts, like, I, I, I honestly thought that podcasts played a really, you know, like, good part. Like, it made sense that, like, Ray and podcasts, like, got together the way they did and, like, they hung out. Like, that was fine. But, like, Lucky showing up in New York because, like, well, we got to get everybody from Oklahoma to freaking New York. No, you don't. No, you don't. And if you're not going to bring her dad, then don't bring her. So, yeah, like, um, I get it. Now, so some of the things that I really liked about this particular movie is that, like, they stepped, they stepped away. Like, they moved away from the Evo Shandor and they created, like, a different storyline that, you know, like, I thought that was really cool. Like, the whole thing with the uh, tall, dark, and horny. It's a bit weird. But, uh, yeah, like, I thought that was definitely, like, you know, interesting because, like, we're moving beyond, like, there's more ghosts than Evo Shandor, right? Like, there's a ton of ghosts in the world if you, like, believe in ghosts. And, like, yeah, there's a lot of ghosts. Like, you don't have to just be Evo Shandor ghost. <sighs> yeah. So, I thought that was cool. I also actually really liked how, like, it was honestly up until, like, the last... 20, 30 minutes of the movie when it was like, oh, snap, here here it comes. Here we go. Like, I was afraid that, like, it was going to start in the beginning and it was going to go to the end and we were going to be, like, on the edge of our seats and, like, yeah. But, again, there was definitely dumb stuff and I'm not going to defend it. Like, the whole, you know, like, Phoebe deciding that, like, I'm going to use this new technology to separate my soul from my body. That was dumb. But it needed to happen for the story to make sense. And, yeah, I mean, you could have made the story make sense some other way. Yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, like, uh, what, six and a half, maybe seven out of ten? Three, maybe three and a half stars out of five? Don't at me. I can't count or multiply. Possibly can't even divide. But... I will say that, like, I liked it. I thought that there was, like, definitely a whole bunch of, like, you know, callbacks that were kind of cool. And, again, like, all the people that are, like, you know, nostalgia bait, nostalgia bait, nostalgia bait. Shut up. You liked it just as much as I did, bastards. So, what I say you should go see this movie? Eh. You can go see it for matinee prices. All day long, go see it. I might go see it again for that. And again, yeah. yeah, 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 it was cool. Like, it was definitely different. It wasn't the same crap that they've been feeding us. I like that. I also think it's funny because people are like, I hate Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt is a dick. I don't want to go support anything that he's in. Fuck him. Yeah, well, got news for you. He's in like 
30 seconds of the fucking movie. So if you can't get over that, then that's on you. All right. And then, um, uh, Dev Patel. No, that's the cooler one. Come on. Whatever. The, 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 you know who I'm talking about. The guy who's got skin that's browner than mine. Yeah. That dude. Um, Kamal? Non Johnny? Whatever. Um, look, for the intense, for the purpose of this review, we're just going to call him Zuko. Um, because, yeah, he's definitely Fire Nation. Zuko. And, uh, yeah, like, eh, 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 yeah, so, end of the day, people are going to complain about this, and they're going to be like, it's woke, because there's a ghost that likes little girls, and there's a little girl that likes ghosts. Bro, get your head out of the fucking gutter, okay? Like, oh, my God. Fuck off. Yeah, like I said before, I'm really sick of woke. And I'm also sick of all the people that want to bitch about woke. So, if you just want to go watch a movie, enjoy yourself, go ahead and watch this. It's not bad. And if you think it's bad, maybe you're gay. Maybe I'm gay. Maybe we're all gay.